on fucking Mars. If the sky's your limit, then you'll never go far. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, my throat. I don't know why it's messing me up today. So I'm back from another episode of Gears of War Judgment. Quick play. We're here just to try to finish the game off as soon as possible, so we can move on with Shadow Warrior because I really want to play the game. Um, what the hell? Okay, I don't know. That's just random. Um, I want to talk about some things because of basically yesterday's video, which was the family bonding, which no one has seen yet as of. 6 p.m. No one has seen it, as far as I know. I ha last time I checked, it was an hour ago. But um, yeah, the Elgato decided to screw me once again with the audio. So I'm at the point where I'm just thinking of getting rid of my Elgato HD 60s, and I'm thinking of either purchasing the Razer Ripsaw or the um, either the Razer Ripsaw or the um, what the hell? Yeah, I'm at the point where you're purchasing the Razer Ripsaw or the um. What should we call it? The Avermedia Live Gamer Extreme, which basically the um both cards are the same actually. Both the uh, um Razer Ripsaw and the Avermedia Game or Live Gamer Extreme are literally the same cards actually. Um, there's been a report done on them. They literally have the same components, so they're basically the same card internally. They both have microphone inputs, just like the Game Capture HD Two does right now. Um. And they have components, so I could record older systems if I wanted to, like PS, PS whatever. Give me one second. All right, crisis averted. Um, so yeah, both the Avermedia and the Razer Rips are the same exact cards, um, almost the same price point. As long as I remember, the only difference I saw is that the Avermedia has um, a feature where you could actually um, take out the Live Gamer Extreme picture and you could put in your own picture. That's pretty much it. But currently, the only um, experience I have with capture cards is the Elgato HD 60s and my Avermedia Game Capture HDs. I have both the one and two, so none of my oh, or none of my Avermedias have ever given me a problem. So I'm highly thinking of just going with the Live Gamer Extreme. What the hell's that? Oh, that's the one that revives them. Okay, so I'm thinking of going with the Live Gamer Extreme, but I don't know. Honestly, um, I'm gonna wait until I get my laptop. Hopefully, you know, maybe the laptop will work with the Elgato to where it actually will record audio. Maybe it won't, but either way, I wanted to buy a laptop for, like, editing and so I could live stream and record in my room. Um, 60 FPS gameplay, so, you know, later on, I'm actually just, after I buy the, um, laptop, if I notice that my Elgato doesn't work, then I'm just gonna purchase a new one, you know? Um, but honestly, I'm not even upset at the Elgato, um, I got it at a relatively good price, you know, but the main thing I'm happy I got the Elgato for in the beginning was, is because at the moment, um, Elgato was doing a promotion where you could get Sony Vegas Pro with any purchase of an Elgato product, so really glad I bought, um, my Elgato then because Sony Vegas Pro is amazing, that's what I use to edit these videos, um, that's what I use to edit mostly all my videos actually, so... I'd have no problem, you know, getting rid of it. I already have the software, which is nice. Uh, I don't plan on getting rid of the software, but the actual um, capture card, I might end up getting rid of if, you know, the Avermedia does better. Um, although, I don't know. I do love that the Avermedia, or that the Elgato lets you live stream the Facebook. It's such a small feature, but it just works good. Um, I know I've used it to live stream off the Facebook before, because I was, like, messing around, and, you know, it worked perfectly fine, but, um, you know, when it came to actually recording other games, like, didn't work as good because, you know, I don't have a separate computer to record on. All the recording was done on one computer and, you know, recording and playing off the same computer is very difficult. But, whatever, um, the Elgato has done me good with live, with, um, oh shit, I just remembered how to kill him. I just remembered what that was. I just remembered what that is. That's one of those ones you have to destroy with the, uh... Yeah, you have to destroy it with explosives. Now I remember. Oh, yes. Put him down. Come on, Paddock. Pick me up, bro. Someone, pick me up. Is it dead? Is it dead or did it get back up?
I don't have any more grenades. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not good. Here's some grenades. But um, moving on actually. Oh no, not the saw. Not the saw. Thought that was the freaking uh. What the hell is going on? Where'd he go? That'll kill it. Um. Honestly, I talked about it in yesterday's uh, Demons Cross episode, actually. I'm trying to remember all the videos I talk about, like, the Elgato problems. And there is a way to kind of fix the problem to where I could still record using the Elgato. It. Um, it's extremely stupid, and it's a huge... Or not even a huge workaround, it's just something that shouldn't happen. The Elgato should work naturally, but I could honestly just use Shadow Play to record gameplay. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, um... My first episode of the Gears of War Judgment Quick Play was actually recorded with um, Shadow Play, which is weird because you can't really um, you can't really record console gameplay on Shadow Play. But basically, what I did is I put the Elgato, or I hooked up my Xbox 360 to the Elgato, and I essentially just um, what am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. I shoot those down. But yeah, I basically hooked up my Xbox 360 to my Elgato, and then I put the Elgato into full screen preview. Because the Elgato has zero latency, I'm able to play off the preview screen and record off of Shadow Play. And it works perfectly, and Shadow Play actually captures my microphone without um, messing up the audio, which is good. Because for some reason, the Elgato um, actual software just doesn't record audio right. If I record the gameplay by itself, it works perfectly, but audio messes up. So apparently I just beat the whole game, um, Aftermath included, so I guess we finished Gears of War Judgment on Thursday, sweet. Um, all I have to do now is I need to record some gameplay so I can do my 5 minute review, which if you guys are new to the channel, I know I've gained uh, quite a few subscribers since my last uh, 5 minute review. Um, basically I'm just going to record gameplay and then I'll do the voiceover commentary later. Um, all I gotta say guys is, yeah. Basically, we're going to start Shadow Warrior from a new Let's Play on Monday. We're going to start Shadow Warrior. It's going to have webcam. It's going to be everything is going to be completely different than what you're used to now. Um, and yeah, we're going to be using Shadow Play from now on with our game, with our, um, when we record, whatchamacallit, uh, console gameplay too, because seriously, Elgato, fix your stuff. I'm not sure if it's my cheap $15 mic or what, but when I record audio and I record, um, gameplay it ends up just making the video more fast than it should be it ends up speeding up the gameplay and audio which isn't good you know when you do commentary you want your commentary to be live at the moment like right now i'm going to open a loot box an epic prize box i unlock the xbox marks the skin sweet but you know if elgato just isn't working right then it's like what's the point of having it sure like i said a few minutes ago i love that i got um some good I got a good um, editing software, which is something I highly needed. Editing software is very important on YouTube, honestly. Ignore what everyone says. If you can't edit your videos good, or you can't edit them at all, or edit them right, trust me, your videos are going to suffer. So you do need to edit them. Plus, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, I have my little poison tag because I don't want anyone stealing my videos anymore. Sure, someone could get rid of it, but at least I know my tag is there. So, yeah, guys. Stay tuned an hour after this video goes live, which is 2 p.m. So at 3 p.m., Stay tuned, I'm going to have the 5-minute review for Gears of War Judgment, and yeah, there's not going to be a video Friday, maybe a video Saturday, I don't know, definitely a video Sunday for Deadman's Cross, but Monday is when we start up on our um, Shadow Warrior 1 Let's Play, so until then, have an awesome day, thank you for watching, bye!